Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. This is Blackheart, sign of Black In again, asking you to hit the share button even before you hit the like or the subscribe button for the simple reason that the message is more important than the messenger. And if it was not, then I would not record this. This is uh, a, a sort of last word for a particular phase of life. Now, in all honesty, um, this uh, is not my final recording ever, but it is my final recording for this phase of life in which I am. As you can see, I'm in an airport and I'm about to fly to another city in a neighboring country. And uh, in doing so, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be joining my Lord willing, my future wife. Uh, as I do so, um, I'm recording this because I realize that even though I'm getting out of a type of frying pan, for one, of course, there's no paradise-like situation between any man and any woman. No uh, relationship can be perfect in a marriage or not in a marriage, and we're talking about a marriage here. Perfection is impossible, and we understand this. For any man and for any woman, perfection is impossible, unrealistic. But I'm recording this because in the next phase, I'm going to find out the full extent of something that I know already exists, but the extent of the damage that I don't know. That is, uh, what harm have I sustained psychologically from decades of having to deal with Western women and in my case Western sisters because I didn't deal romantically with white women but the sisters I had to deal with were still Westerners and the last time I did not get a chance the last time I married a non ados black woman I, I didn't have enough time to find out what the harms were and this time I should have enough chance to find this out I don't know what to tell you to expect, but as I learn certain things, I'll update you. Um, and I'm going to be talking about what I learned about myself. I'm not going to sit up and tell my future wife's business. And when, when we're married, Lord willing, I'm not going to tell my wife's business. And I'm not going to tell the business of my ex-wives, unless, of course, I don't give you names and I don't specify which one. But I'm going to be going into a new phase. And in about an hour, we'll start boarding. Less than an hour, we'll start boarding. I'll lose signal. I won't be able to record again until I land. But at that point, I'll be too busy. And that's when I'm going to begin to learn firsthand just how damaged I'm not and how damaged I am what is true across cultures and what is not and I'll keep you posted but I won't be able to record as often as I've been able to do previously there's a reason that when I recorded what I did about Aisha Curry that one got more views than anything else and I want Western sisters to understand this that's because it hit a nerve with the men we men understood that Stefan could not say something like this and get away with it but Aisha says something like this, and a lot of sisters came to her defense, including Shira 7 1. We understood that we've been held to standards to which we're not allowed to hold women. We've understood that we have to be and do so much. And we have to do this in exchange for girls, not even women, but just girls. And this is bothersome. If you are, in fact, a grown man you can see why this is so wrong we understand that we are being pushed away and we are not pushing the women away but we're blamed for pushing them away we understand that we are being asked to take all responsibility on our shoulders and get none of the benefits and have none of the authority even to carry out the responsibilities we understand this this is obvious and open and proven 
Many of you don't want to hear this. You could care less. And more and more of you are beginning to talk about securing a bag. And the bag has to be big, even though very few men in any country and of any race have large bags for you to secure. And you are now talking yourselves into exactly what the hell it is that we've known all along. You are now further talking yourselves and each other into competing against each other very fiercely for a very, 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 very small one digit percentage of men worldwide in any nation. Whereas you outnumber the men, period, already. You're now further funneling yourselves to compete fiercely for the same few men and to be his only one. And many of you were pretty much saying to each other, it's better to be a rich man's whore than a medium, a middle class man's wife. That's what many of you were saying. You're pretty much saying to hell with marriage is really just about the bag. You're selling yourselves. And that's what many of us are hearing now at this point. And I'm about to marry into a culture where these things are outrageous things to say. For men or women to talk this way. It's outrageous in the culture into which I'm marrying for men to say I'm out to get that pussy and nothing else. And I'm not out to lose much in exchange for it. So it, it works both ways, but I want you to understand that I'm going to be through at this point telling sisters nicely what, how they're pushing brothers away. And I'm talking about the majority. I mean collectively, now, of course not every individual. I'm going to be through even being that nice. And I'm also going to be through... I'm going to be finished at this point, um, completely through and finished, telling you matriarchal moochers, wannabe mandingos, how imbalanced you've been previously when you tell men, just self-improve, bro, just be my alpha, bro, and you don't tell them that the best thing for them to do was to do what the hell I did, and that is to fit the guck out of the Western paradigm when dealing with these women. I've already been nice. Now I'm simply going to be educational in order to help people prevent certain things. That's it. Um, I've learned a lot in this phase, though, in which I've been involved in or, or talking to the manosphere and learning things from the manosphere. I've, I've been, I must say that I've been quite, um, quite helped out. I've learned a good bit. I've been quite well educated. And I want to thank those of you who have helped out with new information. Angry Man, you helped me realize that uh, I don't have to be tolerant of a hypocritical type of colorism or reverse colorism, whichever you want to call it, in order to be loyal to our people. I appreciate that, Angry Man. BGS, you jarred certain memories um, that helped me to understand the same thing. O'Shea Duke Jackson and LAR movement, especially LAR, have helped me to see the, uh, the, the just outright hypocrisy of black women who don't even call themselves feminist. Um, Edwin Anderson, you've helped me to understand it deeply and intellectually and you brought in, uh, you've helped me to, uh, to know certain bits of information confirmed by statistics that I previously did not know. I've learned these things from you. And you've helped me to understand how imbalanced I was thinking previously when I used to say, well, men do need to self-improve, but I didn't say what it is that the women needed to, to, to improve about themselves and how I had been tricked into that way of thinking. Even when I was, even though I was not feminist and I wasn't easy on women. There are many others of you from whom I've learned a good bit. I can't thank you enough. I hope that what I've said previously and this time have been a benefit. Blackheart signing blackout one more time. Assalamu alaikum.